Welcome back to my channel. I am Halicia, but I go by Lee. If you're new here, I do fashion, makeup, travel, of course, natural hair. So I would love it if you would subscribe. I'm going to give a bit of a disclaimer. I am coming to you guys from Paris and I have like a very limited time slot to film this video because I wanted to film it while I'm actually here. And I've been wearing these glasses all day, so probably for like eight or nine hours now. So I'm not going to take them off for the video because, you know, if you wear glasses for a long period of time, you already know that they leave like imprints and I don't really have time to redo my makeup. So please just bear with me. I hope that that's not like super annoying for you guys to see me with glasses on in a video, but I'm doing what I can. Okay, so that's just like... A bit of a disclaimer and these glasses are from Tom Ford I did get them from Satair and if I can find the link because when I bought them they were on sale or on like a discount so if I still have the link I'm gonna link them below but if they're not on sale I'll still leave other links for the same glasses so we're in Paris we were only here for a couple of days and there is gonna be a vlog coming so just definitely stay tuned for that. And there's also going to be tons of Instagram reels and I'll do YouTube shorts. But for today, we're going to do a haul because I bought quite a few things. I planned on doing some shopping here and I, I feel like I purchased a little bit more than I anticipated. I got excited. So it is what it is. I bought it. We're going to figure out a way to bring it back. My husband says he's going to figure out a way to get it in our luggages right yes thumbs up all right so let me just go through what i purchased like in the order that i purchased each item so the first place that we went was actually jacquemus jacquemus but the line was too long so i'm gonna save that one for later on in the video because we ended up having to go back but we went to avenue Avenue Montana, Montana. I'm gonna put it on the screen. And the first official store that I purchased something at was actually Balenciaga, a Balenciaga. And the bag is real raggedy because that particular day I just we were just stuffing stuff in this bag because it was the biggest bag. But I got one bag they didn't give me a box a couple of brands gave me boxes but balenciaga didn't so they just put the bag in a dust bag and this is the bag it is this black crushed leather i want to say that this is a part of the hourglass collect collection they did mm, excuse me i want to say that this is part of the hourglass collection they did say that this was a new season bag and it's literally just all black. I needed an all black bag. And I wanted something that could actually fit like my vlog camera and all of my necessities. So a black hourglass bag was on my list. But I love this one because I can do shoulder bag. I can of course do a clutch, like tuck the straps in, or I can do crossbody. And I just loved the way the chain detailing was on this particular bag and it is all black even the chain is like a matte black and inside of it it's this really soft leather inside of it there's like ton of compartments ton like there's a zipper compartment there is a slot compartment there's two large compartments um, and then there's a back slit compartment. So I feel like I have just like tons and tons of space in this bag. The bottom of it is structured, but the rest of it is fairly, it's a little softer. There's a little bit of structure, but it's, it's primarily a pretty soft bag. So I also think that it is going to be super durable. I'm sure I'm going to have this forever. I'm very excited about her. She's gonna come in clutch, like. After Balenciaga, hold on. 
Yes. Okay. After Balenciennes, see, we went to Loewe. And I only got one item from Loewe, and I feel like it's like the typical blogger, fashion girl item of the year, but slightly with a twist. I did get like the bubble glasses little situation. I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but I'll leave them on the screen once I figure it out. So here is the case. And I do enjoy this case because it has like a little latch hook. So I think that this will kind of come in handy because you can clip this on to things. And I got the red pair, but the red pair is like square, more or less so than the, the other ones to me almost look like bugs, but these to me are more chic, I asked two people in the store what they thought because I tried on these and the rounder ones and everybody said that these were like bolder, chicer and that they looked really good on my face. So I picked these up, super cute. They are actually a lot heavier than what I anticipated. Like this is a very sturdy frame. There's nothing about it that is cheap whatsoever. She thick, okay? So very, very good quality. And I'm loving these. I can't wait to wear them. I also really like that the Loewe sunglasses are like solid colors. Cause typically when you see like colorful sunglasses, they're almost like this see-through acetate. But the Loewe ones are literally like full-blown solid. And I really like this. I really want some yellow sunglasses. I actually purchased some off-white lime green sunglasses before this trip but they're really cute maybe i should show y'all those too that evening we also walked over to oh i got two other things that evening so i walked over to fendi i wonder if y'all can guess what i got from fendi but it is a mini bag and i actually wore it on this trip so i'm gonna pop up a picture of me wearing it fendi actually did give me a box now it's not all cute and wrapped up because again, I wore the bag and I think I put the tag back in this bag so I might be able to tell you what the bag is, but it is this one and I got the denim one. It was wrapped in this little baguette, kind of like keychain bow like situation. I think that this would be really cute as like a Christmas ornament, but I got this small Fendi it's a really like a wristlet and this is how I wore it with my denim trench coat from Zara let me see what this bag is called because I was tempted when I got it to get the white one because the white one was like calling my name I really like that one my husband was actually like get the denim one because it's different it's bolder it's something that not as many people will have and I agree I really do agree so this one is called the nano fendography denim in Napa shiny blue and even though this is a small bag it's actually not as small as I anticipated it's like a true mini bag but you can actually fit you might be able to fit a card holder in here, your lip products, a key for sure. I feel like you can fit like your daily essentials in it. And what's cool about it is that it fits around the wrist. It is a little big on my wrist, but if I... Is... <coughs> Let's just say that the customer service here is 10 out of 10. I would recommend. So back to the nano fendography. I do actually think that it's a really good size. It does come with two separate clips, so you can actually buy the crossbody strap. But honestly, when we were at the store, he tried to sell us the crossbody strap. The crossbody strap is almost more than the bag. So I would just recommend maybe if you want to do, it wasn't even a crossbody strap, matter of fact, it was more like a shoulder strap, but it did have the Fendi logo on it. But in my personal opinion, I would just say take a strap off of another bag and just clip it onto here if you wanted to wear it as a shoulder or a crossbody bag. But personally, I like it on the wrist. I think that it is a really cute bag 
as as it already is but you can unhook this for sure and wear it as a true mini bag i just think that this concept of snapping this together and having kind of like a wristlet is cuter i love the white too but this is cute and i've already worn it so i already know she's going to be a staple she's going to be good in my wardrobe then the last store that we stopped at that particular day was nike because they have a really cool nike store here and they were actually doing like an activation or something in the nike store where they were making custom like soccer jerseys so so dope now from nike i left the box but she did give me the bag which is cool because it's more like a reusable tote so she gave me that i only purchased one pair of shoes and i ended up putting them on because they were just going with my dress and we have been doing a lot of walking and my feet were getting i was in the mood for some sneakers i was just like listen it already matched the fit let me just put them on my feet you can throw away the box i don't need any of that because i wasn't going to bring the box back anyways so i got these jordan air force jordan air force not air forces jordan one but these are the zooms i want to say these are the the zooms they're the comfort ones and they are red and orange high top and they are slightly distressed at the tongue and the orange is more like a muted orange almost like a a burnt orange i don't know how this is going to show up on camera but i'll try to get the best shot that i actually can but they're dope i do need to relace them haven't had an opportunity to do that but i definitely will when i get home and yeah they're just orange red and white and then the tongue has a bit of like cream because it is distressed i feel like once virgil did the distressed tongue nike just kind of took over with the distressed tongue and like base and they've been doing that a lot on the shoes so yeah these are women's jordan one zooms all right so the next day or i guess today today we did a little bit of shopping earlier Oh no, one more thing. Yesterday, um, at our hotel, we have a a gift shop, like a boutique shop. And we're at Hotel de Crillon. Rosewood hotels are some of the best hotels. This is my second time staying at a Rosewood hotel. The hotel that we stayed at in Cabo is a Rosewood hotel. This hotel is also a Rosewood hotel. And I just bought a scent. So when I'm traveling, I'm trying to purchase either a scent, a book, or some type of piece of artwork. This particular trip, I got all three. But the artwork was free because I'm taking a piece of artwork from the hotel. But I got a French brand. The brand is Officine Universelle. Listen, I'm just going to put it on the screen. I'm not going to lie. I wore it already. I wore it last night. After I bought it, I was like, let me just put it on i just wanted to smell it on my skin and she told me that you can only get it in france or japan so i love that and look at the bottle look at her and the scent that i picked was oud because listen y'all i'm a oud I, I just like i like warm woody spicy any type of scents that smell like men and this brand is also like in the body wash at the hotel so it's just like it's gonna remind me of this space for sure so i definitely wanted to get something that was going to bring me back to paris so here is the scent and the bottle hopefully you guys can see this and i love the packaging i just thought that the packaging was just given like it's heavy it's beautiful Okay, somebody's at the door. Oh my God. And y'all, last night I met a um a guy. His name was Quentin. And he actually designs perfumes or like creates perfumes from brands. And so he stopped me and we were chatting and he gave me a sample of the four perfumes that he designed. 
because they were having an event in the hotel so i'm gonna get that out of my bag and i will post that definitely gonna try to leave a link to that because that's dope he told me that he has also done perfumes for like carolina herrera and i'll see if i can find his instagram because we were like chatting in um as we were like on our way out and if i can find it i'm also going to share that because his vibe was immaculate and i'm super excited about the scents that he gave me so i'm i'm gonna test out all four of the samples that he gave me and maybe i'll see if one of them like really really resonates with me and i'll order one because that will also you know give me the parisian vibes because it's something that i experienced here all right so today we went to Jacques Mousse. They dropped a new collection because y'all know they have a store in Paris that they opened over the summer. And Jacques Mousse was actually supposed to be there. He posted it on Instagram, but I don't know if he actually came. We were there when the store first opened. So here is my bag. And they taped it up really nicely, but I'm, I'm probably not gonna bring this bag back anyways. It's looking a little raggedy because we had to take it with us today. Three things from Jacques Mousse. One, I got a book. So I'm not going to go like into really details about this, but I got the book. Because remember, book, scent, artwork. I also got a piece of jewelry and I got a bag. Now, they wrapped this bag up clearly. So, let's see. So, here's the jewelry. I am going to try to keep this box. And every time I order Jacques Mousse stuff, I typically don't get a box. So, it's nice to have a box. Oh, yeah. But, I got this choker. This is what it looks like. It just basically says Jacques Mousse in gold. And, it's just a choker. It just kind of snaps on like this. It's tight too. I'm gonna have to loosen it up, but I'm not gonna do that now. But yeah, it just goes around like this. Very beautiful. And then I got a bag, a mini bag, a neutral bag. One of the bags that I wanted, they did not have, which is totally okay, but this is the bag. And this bag almost is like furry in a sense. It's very textured. And it's a neutral tone, so very kind of like easy to wear. And it comes with a crossbody strap. Okay, if you have made it this far, you definitely need to subscribe because clearly you are here for the vibes. I only have one more item, y'all, one more. And we have been interrupted twice in this video and the sun is going down, so I know that this video is gonna be a hit. So last stop is End of the Stories. I wore this red and of the stories dress while I was here and it was a hit. I got tons and tons of compliments on it. So this is, I just bought a top and it's just this little, it's like tulle and it's ruffled and it's kind of like sexy, but it's interesting it's fluffy i just thought that this would be like a cute top in the winter time i could wear it underneath the blazer in the summertime i could just wear it solo but yeah it's really just like a little cropped kind of like meshy top they had a dress that was giving me wedding vibes and even nick said he was like that could be a wedding dress it was beautiful but it was like midi length so so stunning so if i can find it online you already know i'm going to link it so that is it for what i bought in paris i hope that you guys enjoyed this video nick is asleep now and snoring so we're gonna close this out i love you make sure that you subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye